ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 3rd of April. Conditions getting a little volatile this afternoon. Let's go right to the uh, Skycam images. We'll take a look at what's happening. First off, the view coming from Mount Chiha, and they are in the wedge. Got the uh, cold air damming effect uh, over East Alabama. They are sitting in the 50s up on that big mountain, and they are in the clouds. Uh, the Birmingham view, we're looking south, and temperatures in Birmingham are uh, right around 80 degrees now, and that's uh, helping to fire up the instability values. The sky is uh, partly sunny. And down in Demopolis, again, it's awfully warm down there. The sun is out uh, with uh, scattered uh, to broken clouds and rising dew points. And the air becoming relatively unstable, which means we might be setting up for uh, some issues with severe weather before this day is over. Uh, there's the water vapor satellite imagery, and we also note a kind of decaying uh, thunderstorm complex north of here over Tennessee and uh, north Mississippi and the extreme northwestern part of Alabama. And that will be sending down a small-scale boundary down through here. And on top of that, we have a northward moving warm front and the wedge front. A lot of low-level boundaries in play here, and those can serve to help uh, enhance low-level convergence and make for some backing winds, which means, you know, there might even be a tornado somewhere around here later today or this evening. There's the uh, temperatures, and you can see the wedge coming down. Temperatures are in the 40s now over uh, South Carolina. Looks like Atlanta's sitting in the mid-50s, and uh, readings are in the 60s over far east Alabama. That wedge front is... Uh, uh, over around U.S. 431, something like that, about where we thought it would be. The guys out at Norman are monitoring uh, this part of Alabama for a uh, possible severe weather watch for this afternoon and this evening, uh, including much of north and central Alabama, much of north and central Mississippi. And I would not be shocked if they did ultimately pull the trigger on that. The instabilities are coming up. Uh, this really shows uh, the, the area all the way from Oklahoma to Alabama. We, of course, we note the extreme instability out there along Interstate 35, uh, south-southwest of Oklahoma City. The surface base capes out there are 3,000 joules. But around here, we note that in North Mississippi, we've got some instability values up to 2,000 in uh, 1,000 to 1,500 across our state. And as temperatures keep rising up toward the uh, low 80s, we could see the instability hitting uh, 2,000 joules around here. And there is a degree of uh, uh, veering of the wind here. This is the 0 to 3 kilometer storm relative helicity. And you can see there's a max out there across northwestern Arkansas and also uh, some over north and northeast Alabama. That's because of that uh, uh, wedge front there. So we'll have to keep an eye on the sky this afternoon and this evening. In fact, of course, tomorrow as well. Uh, there's our convective outlook uh, the guys at Norman have extended the risk into uh, North Alabama and North Mississippi for the reasons we've talked about. And, of course, really the hot spot is out there on the Red River and the Arklatex. Uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, uh, Texarkana, McAllister, places like that. That's that moderate risk. Tomorrow there's a slight risk over almost all of Alabama and the adjacent states. And we note on the probabilities, uh, that's pretty high right there, that 30% probability over much of Mississippi and uh, north and central Alabama. And more than likely, they will upgrade this to a moderate risk uh, at some point in the morning as conditions seem to be pretty favorable for severe weather. And then on day three, uh, Saturday, the risk is uh, well to the east at this point. And quickly, the QPF map, this is the expected rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning. And this looks a lot more reasonable. I thought the, the map we showed you this morning was way too aggressive. This looks about right. I, th I think uh, amounts of one to two inches seem right here with the uh, heavier totals up north, uh, again, from Little Rock up to Louisville. And that's suggesting maybe some five-inch rains up in that area. Modeling, now we'll go into tomorrow. This is 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon from the uh, 12Z GFS, valid at 500 millibars. You can see the trough axis off to the west with those embedded short waves. And at the surface, the main squall line will be running from a surface low near Pittsburgh down through uh, Memphis and Dallas-Fort Worth. We note a secondary low that's forming on the front over north Mississippi. And that will enhance the uh, backing of the wind in the low levels, and that's one reason we are concerned. There could be a few tornadoes with the discrete supercells that form tomorrow afternoon, especially on the uh, western side of the state. And then uh, the whole thing rolls through as a squall line tomorrow night. And then Saturday, the latest 
modeling here shows a pretty good Vortmax coming in here, and that kind of holds everything up with that secondary low forming. In fact, this is suggesting it might rain into late Saturday morning here. So with that trend, we'll have to bring back a chance of rain into Saturday morning, and it tapers off at midday, and that clearing might be delayed until Saturday night. We'll quickly look at the instability values here. We're kind of back it up to Friday. I meant to show these when I was talking about Friday, but hey, you get them when you get them. Uh, this is off the GFS. I'm sorry, this is off the uh, NAM model, and uh, this is valid Friday evening. And that's suggesting instability values of uh, 5,000 or 500 to 1,000 joules. And there's the uh, zero to one kilometer helicity. And those numbers look pretty good. So, again, that's why we're concerned about the possibility of tornadoes uh, tomorrow afternoon in isolated spots. Sunday will be in great shape. No problem there. Sunny and mild. Monday of next week looks pretty good. Now, Tuesday, that's a pretty good looking storm north of here uh, over Des Moines. The surface low down to 1,000 millibars. And, you know, that might drag. A uh, decaying front down in here Tuesday night. And again, you know, we've seen different looks on this. We'll leave it dry for now, but just keep in mind there could be a shower maybe Tuesday night with that feature. And then Wednesday, there's your big trough off to the west at the surface. That, that front really never makes it down in here. Uh, Wednesday, it, it's, it's hung up north of here. So, again, we'll leave it dry for now Monday through Wednesday. Thursday, by golly, the trough digs deeper and the ridge is not as strong now. And that looks like a major severe weather threat Thursday of next week for Arkansas and Louisiana and eastern Texas, if that's right. I mean, that's a big-time looking threat there. And then on Friday the 11th, the uh, main surface low moves north with a trailing band of showers and storms. The GFS is not consistent, needless to say, in what it's trying to do next week. One run, it's got the big ridge blocking everything and keeping up north. Now it's got the system coming through here. So we'll just get through tomorrow's event, and we'll be more specific over the weekend. Uh, what about that late season cold snap, uh, mid month cold snap? Well, now the trough is not as deep. This is April the 16th. It's got the trough there, but it's way north of here. And the growers, if that's right, can breathe easier. If that's correct, there would be no frost here. But remember, this is pure voodoo. The trend has been there for a long wave trough and a late season cold snap. How cold? We just don't know yet. Hopefully, this will be the right solution and it won't be bad at all. And at the end of the cycle on the 19th, uh, the westerly shift north, and all the action is up north. But, uh, again, we got a whole lot of things to go here before we get there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Weather for the brain.